Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image back again with another Tom Hogan prediction for 2011, this time regarding the Nikon D800. So, Tom is saying that the Nikon D800 will be announced by March of 2011. I've already said uh, similar in some of my posts. I concur with this entirely. We will see an announcement by March of 2011. If not, it'll be April anyways, in that time frame. Uh, Tom is saying it's a D700 type body, new Nikon FX high resolution sensor fabbed by Sony. And he says it'll be 18 to 24 megapixels. I, my suggestion would be probably that you're going to see the Nikon uh, D3X 24 megapixel sensor in the Nikon D800. So I don't really know why they would do a whole new sensor um, when they have the beautiful Nikon D3X sensor. Uh, now maybe what they're going to do is make an improvement on that sensor and that's what Tom's getting at here. He says it's going to be 4 to 5 frames per second. Tom says it'll be 1080p video, 24, 25, and 30 frames per second at 1080p. This is news because the D3X doesn't have video. We don't have a super high resolution body. The highest resolution Nikon body with video is the Nikon D7000. So if the D800 has it, that will signal that the D4X or whatever is going to replace the D3X will also have video, high resolution video. Uh, Tom also says that the D800 will have a 100% viewfinder. It will use the EN EL15 battery and the MB D12 grip. So that is good. The EN EL15 battery is a very solid performer. That's what's in the D7000. Very happy with it, getting good performance out of that battery. And Tom says, as far as is it coming, he says, yes, it's coming. Nikon at Nikon speed. Didn't anyone at Nikon ever watch Star Trek? Impulse drive is the slow speed. We want engineering at warp speed, which is um, kind of humorous, but basically true because uh, it seems like we've been waiting for this body for a while, this upgrade or update to the D700. Um, and I guess that begs a question too, do we see the D700 in tandem with the D800? Will they still have them both in the lineup? I think that the D700 is certainly popular enough for that, but we'll have to wait and see. Anyways, folks, there you have it. That is Tom Hogan's Nikon D800 prediction for 2011. Stay tuned. We'll be back with some more news and posts for you of what's going on in the world of photography. Thanks.